Peppa goes on holiday. Peppa and her family are going on holiday. Mommy Pig is packing their bags. Are you sure we need all that stuff, Mommy Pig? Daddy Pig asks. Yes, replies Mommy Pig. It's all very important. Mr. Bull takes Peppa, George, Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig to the airport in his taxi. Miss Rabbit checks in their bags. Then it's time to board the plane. Airplane! New! cries George. Off they fly, higher and higher to the clouds. Whee! Before long, their pilot, Captain Emergency, makes an announcement. We are about to land in Italy. Miss Rabbit, who is also their air stewardess, says, Please fasten your seat belts. At the airport, in Italy, they collect their hire car. Once they are on the road, they discover that the statnav only speaks Italian. Why is everyone beeping their horns at us? asks Peppa. I expect they are just saying hello, says Mommy Pig. Hang gong, beep, beep, beep. Suddenly, Peppa remembers something very important. Teddy! I left Teddy on the aeroplane. Nino, Nino, Nino. Oh dear, a policeman on a motorbike pulls Daddy Pig over. Hello, officer, stutters Daddy Pig. Good day, the policeman replies, reaching into his bag. I am returning this young bear. Daddy, cries Peppa. The next day, Mommy Pig suggests they do some sightseeing. Their new friend, Gabriella Goat, shows them her pretty village. Mommy Pig buys a lot of things to take home. They are going to need another suitcase. Gabriela's uncle shows Peppa and George how pizza is made. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, says Uncle Goat. Into the oven and into my tummy, says Peppa. I like pizza. What a lovely relaxing holiday, says Mommy Pig, as Daddy Pig drives back to the holiday house. Oh dear, Daddy Pig has been pulled over again. Nino, Nino, Nino. Mr. Pig, says the policeman, reaching into his bag. You're Teddy. Teddy, cries Peppa. After a few days, it is time for Peppa and her family to go home. Bye bye, they call to Gabriella Goat and her family. What a lovely holiday, exclaims Daddy Pig. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed, sighs Mommy Pig. Nino, Nino, Nino. Oh dear, Daddy Pig has been pulled over by the policeman for a third time. Mr. Pig, please take better care of your teddy, he says. Teddy, cries Peppa, hugging her bear. We are going home today. Susie Sheep is waiting for Peppa when she gets home. It rained. While you are away, Susie complains. Oh, good, cries Peppa. Holidays are nice, but coming home to Muddy Puddles is even better. The end. Peppa's Magical Creatures, a touch and feel playbook. Peppa and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig is reading a bedtime story. And the fairy and the unicorn lived happily ever after, says Granny Pig. The end. I wish I was a fairy, Peppa sighs dreamily. Touch fairy Peppa's shiny wings. Ting! Granny Pig tucks Peppa and George into bed. The next story is an underwater adventure, she says. We can read it in the morning. I hope it has a mermaid in it, says Peppa, with a beautiful shimmery tail. Touch mermaid Peppa's shimmery tail. Swish! Peppa dreams of being a mermaid, and the friendly narwhal swims up to say hello. Mermaid Peppa giggles. You're a little sea unicorn. Touch the squishy narwhal. Splash! George can get to sleep. He wakes Peppa up. Would you like another story, George? asks Peppa. Mr. Dinosaur will like this one. 
Peppater's George and Mr. Dinosaur, a story about a big green dragon. Touch the dragon's bumpy skin. <laughs> Granny Pink comes back to turn off the light. Night night, my lovelies, she whispers. What shall we dream of next? Peppa asks sleepily. Unicorns? Touch the soft unicorn. Sweet dreams. The end. Peppa at the petting farm. Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are going to visit a petting farm. Mommy, says Peppa, what can we do there? You can feed and stroke tiny little animals, replies Mommy Pig. Oh, gasps Rebecca, I love tiny little animals. Mrs. Badger is the farmer who looks after the tiny little animals. Before we meet them, she says, there is one thing we have to do. Wash our hands, say Rebecca and Peppa. That's right, says Mrs. Badger. The children go to see the chickens first. Would you like to feed them? asks Mrs. Badger. Peppa, George and Rebecca each take a bag of bird seed. Here, chicky chick, calls Peppa. Cluck, cluck. Next, Mrs. Badger has a surprise for everyone. Now, she says, who wants to hold the baby chick? Me, 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 shout the children. Peppa giggles. The chicks are so fluffy and sweet. Soon, it's time for the children to wash their hands again and go to see some other animals. These are the Guinea pigs, says Mrs. Badger. Oh, cries Rebecca. Look at their cute little faces and their fluffy little bodies, says Peppa. Mommy Rabbit comes to collect Rebecca. She has brought the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Baby rabbits are so cute, says Peppa. Please, can we cuddle them? Mommy Rabbit nods. There is just one thing to do first. Wash our hands. Now Peppa and Rebecca's hands are clean. They can cuddle the twins. Have you had a nice time today? asks Mommy Rabbit. Yes, loves Peppa. We have had lots of cuddles. Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. The end. The I love you, Mommy Pig. It was very early in the morning and Peppa and George had woken up Daddy Pig and dragged him to the kitchen. We want to make Mommy a surprise breakfast, said Peppa excitedly. Ah, yawned Daddy Pig. Well, I am an expert at making pancakes. Yippee, cheered Peppa. Mommy loves pancakes. Upstairs, Mommy Pig was in bed. She could hear lots of noise. Bang, crash, hee hee, oops. Mommy, shouted Peppa. We need you, Mommy. Mommy Pig got out of bed and went downstairs. We are making you a surprise breakfast, Mommy, explained Peppa. But it went a bit wrong. Surprise, mumbled Daddy Pig. How lovely, said Mommy Pig, smiling. Why don't you tidy up the mess, said Mommy Pig, and I'll finish the breakfast. Mommy Pig tossed the pancakes high up into the air and straight onto everyone's plates. Wow, Mommy, Peppa and George cheered. You're amazing. And these are delicious, added Daddy Pig, tucking in. After breakfast, Peppa whispered to Daddy Pig, let's take Mommy to the beach. Great idea, Peppa whispered Daddy Pig. It is her favorite. Mommy, cried Peppa, we are taking you on a surprise trip. How lovely, replied Mommy Pig. I'll just get my things. Mommy packed her bag, then everyone hopped in the car. Let's go, cheered Peppa. Oh, how lovely, said Mommy Pig, stepping out of the car. The beach, in the snow. Oh, sighed Peppa, it's very cold. Not to worry, said Mommy Pig. She pulled out nice warm clothes for everyone. And then a table, some chairs and lots of toys. Thank you, Mommy, said Peppa. Peppa built a snow castle while George and Daddy Pig played catch. You relax, Mommy, said Daddy Pig. George, catch! The ball flew through the air and was about to land on Peppa's snow castle. Mommy, shouted Peppa. We need you, Mommy. Mommy Pig jumped out and caught the ball just in time. Wow, Mommy, gasped Peppa. You're brilliant. 
How about we have a nice lunch? suggested Daddy Pig, getting the picnic things out. But just as everyone was about to eat, there was a great gust of wind. The food was whipped off the table and into the air. Mommy! cried Peppa. We need you, Mommy! Mommy Pig grabbed the umbrella and used it to catch all the picnic food. Whoa, Mommy! gasped Peppa. You're so clever! Let's throw snowballs into the sea, said Peppa after they had eaten. So Daddy Pig, Peppa and George headed off to the sea while Mommy Pig read the book. Daddy Pig and Peppa had lots of fun, but when it was George's turn, he accidentally threw Mr. Dinosaur into the sea instead. Wah, wah, sobbed George, watching his dinosaur float away. Mommy, cried Peppa, we need you, Mommy. Mommy Pig ran towards the water's edge. She saw Mr. Dinosaur, pulled off her coat and dived into the cold sea to get him. Oh, she gasped. It's a little chilly. She swam over to Mr. Dinosaur, then picked him up and swam quickly back to shore. Dinosaur! Grrr, growled George happily. Whoa, mommy, said Peppa. You're so brave. Peppa George and Daddy Pig dried Mommy Pig with towels and soon she was nice and warm. I think it's time to head home, said Daddy Pig. Good idea, agreed Mommy Pig, packing up their things. Goodbye, Snowy Beach, sang Peppa all the way home. After dinner, Mommy and Daddy Pig helped Peppa and George get ready for bed. Then they tucked them in with a story. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George, said Mommy Pig. Good night, bestest mommy in the whole world, giggled Peppa. Mommy and Daddy Pig headed downstairs, but just as they sat down, they heard Peppa shout, Mommy, we need you, Mommy. So Mommy Pig went back upstairs. Yes, Peppa, I love you, Mommy, said Peppa, giving Mommy Pig a great big hug. Oh, you, Mommy, said George, and he gave her a great big hug, too. I love you both, said Mommy Pig very much. Now, good night, and I'll see you up in the morning. This is for you, said Daddy Pig, giving Mommy Pig a present. Mommy Pig opened it to find a great big bar of chocolate inside. Oh, thank you, she said, delighted. Then she unwrapped the bar and saw that someone had already had a little nibble. Daddy Pig, she said, smiling. Daddy Pig looked very guilty and went bright red. I love you, Mommy Pig. The end. George catches a cold. Mommy Pig has said Peppa and George can play in the rain, but they must wear rain clothes to keep them dry. But George hates wearing his rain hat. He has thrown it in a muddy puddle. Hee <laughs> hee! George! Come inside, children, calls Daddy Pig. It's raining very hard now. Where's your hat, George? asks Mommy Pig. Achoo! replies George. Oh dear, George has got a cold. Achoo! George cannot stop sneezing. Poor little George, says Mommy Pig. You don't look very well. I'll call Dr. Brown Bear says Daddy Pig. Will George go to hospital? asks Peppa. No, George has to go to bed, replies Daddy Pig. So George is not properly ill then, says Peppa, disappointed. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better, says Daddy Pig. Why? asks George. Because you have to keep warm, says Daddy. Dr. Brown Bear is here to see George. Open wide and say, ah, he says. George is a little bit worried. He is hiding under his sheets with Mr. Dinosaur. George finally comes out from under his sheets and opens his mouth wide for Dr. Brown Bear to have a look inside. Ah. George has got a cold, says Dr. Brown Bear. He can have some warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, says Mommy Pig. You're welcome. Goodbye, says Dr. Brown Bear before driving off in his special white car. The next morning, George wakes up early, 
The warm milk made him sleep very well. Roar! cries George. He is feeling much better. It's a lovely sunny day, but George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat when it is warm and sunny, Mommy Pig tells him. Hee hee, hee hee, everyone laughs. The end. George's Rocket It is nearly night time and Peppa and George are drinking hot milk. George is wearing a space suit. George loves rockets in space. As a treat, Mommy Pig says they can go and look through Grandpa Pig's telescope. Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. What are you doing here? asks Grandpa Pig. Could we take a look through your telescope, please? asks Mommy Pig. Of course, replies Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig shows Peppa and George his telescope. Peppa looks through it first. She can see the North Star. Oh, she says. Now it is George's turn. He can see a planet with rings. George can see the planet Saturn, says Grandpa Pig. What is Saturn like? asks Peppa. Saturn has rings made of rock and ice. And it is very cold, says Grandpa Pig. We could build a snowman, says Peppa. Look, gasps Grandpa Pig, a shooting star. You have to make a wish. I wish that when George is older, he will take me into space in his rocket, cheers Peppa. Hee hee, George giggles. George loves his rocket. Kylie's Kangaroo's Submarine Peppa is on holiday in Australia visiting Kylie Kangaroo. Mrs. Kangaroo is a marine biologist. She studies creatures that live in the sea. This is my submarine office, says Mrs. Kangaroo. The submarine goes deep under the water. It's so colorful, gasps Peppa. That's coral, says Mrs. Kangaroo. It's made of tiny creatures. We'll call this the Great Barrier Reef. Peppa would like to take the coral home. We can't take anything away, says Mrs. Kangaroo. Lots of creatures live in the reef, explains Kylie. Look, a turtle swims up to say hello. What a lovely bridge, says Peppa. George spots something in the sand. Mrs. Kangaroo blinks. It's a chest full of gold coins. The submarine picks the chest up. Wait, cries Peppa. We can't take anything away. Only natural things, says Mrs. Kangaroo. These gold coins don't belong here. The gold coins will pay for more marine research, says Kylie on the way home. What a good day on my submarine office, says Mrs. Kangaroo. Yes, says Peppa. It was amazing. The end. Slow down, George. Peppa and George are watching racing cars on the television in the Grandpa Pig and Daddy Pig. Vroom, vroom, George shouts. George loves racing cars. Grandpa Pig has made George a racing car. It has his favorite number on it. Two, gasped George excitedly. You'll be the best racing driver in the whole world, George, says Peppa. Vroom, vroom. George puts on his goggles and helmet and hops into his little racing car. Ready, steady, go, shouts Peppa. George starts pedaling. Pedal faster, George, cries Peppa. Faster, faster, faster. Vroom, 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 vroom. George pedals as fast as he possibly can. He zooms off up the hill straight towards... My sandcastle, cries Peppa. Slow down, George. You're going to knock it over. But George can hear Peppa. Slow down, George, shouts Grandpa Pig. But George can't hear him either. George pedals faster and faster towards the sandcastle. Don't worry, says Grandpa Pig. We can build another sandcastle. But Grandpa, cries Peppa. Daddy and Mr. Dinosaur are in the sandcastle. They are going to get squashed. At the last minute... George spots the toys hiding in the sand and turns his little racing car. He whizzes past the sand pit, then slows down to a stop. 
Mr. Dinosaur and Teddy are safe. Dinosaur! Grrr! Roars George. George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! Cheers Peppa. And the best at slowing down! The end! Peppa's car ride. It is a lovely sunny day. Daddy Pig thinks it's the perfect day to go for a drive. Hooray! says Peppa. Daddy Pig presses a button to take the roof off the car. Peppa and George are very excited. They love their little red car. Clank boink! The car is making funny noises. They must take it to Granddad Dog's garage to be mended. Granddad Dog lends them a new blue car. It has lots of different buttons. One of the buttons falls the roof down. Oh dear! It's starting to rain. Daddy Pig cannot find a button to close the roof and sprays himself with water. Peppa and George think this is very funny. Hee hee! Ha ha! Back at the garage, Grandad Dog has mended the little red car. Hooray! The new car was fun, but Peppa likes their old car the best. The end. Peppa and the police car. Peppa and her friends are waiting for special visitors. The police are coming to help you ride your bikes safely, says Madame Gazelle. The police drive noisy cars, cries Freddy Fox. Nina, Nina, no, police cars go woo, 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 woo says Peppa. Hello, 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 say Officer Panda and Officer Squirrel. We are here to help you learn to ride your bikes safely. Now, children, says Officer Panda, I'm going to drive to the bottom of the hill. When you hear Officer Panda turn on the siren, circle down the hill. When you hear it again, use your brakes to stop, says Officer Squirrel. The children set off on their bikes. They whiz down the hill. Whee! Officer Panda watches as Peppa and her friends zoom towards him. He sounds the siren so everyone will put on their brakes. As soon as they hear the siren, the children use their brakes to stop. Screech! Very good braking, says Officer Panda. Well done! That's how you ride your bicycle safely. Are there any questions? says Officer Squirrel. Do you think your siren goes ooh or nino? asks Peppa. It goes like this, says Officer Panda. He and Officer Squirrel get into the car and put on the siren. Everyone loves the siren. Woo woo Nino Nino. The end. The wheels on the bus. Quiz at the end. Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip to the mountains. They are very excited. George, look, says Peppa. The bus has really big wheels. Wheels, says George, giggling. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. I love going on school bus trips, says Susie Sheep. Me too, says Peppa, especially when we have a picnic. Ding, 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 shouts George. The bell on the bus goes ding, 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 ding. The bell on the bus goes ding, 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 all day long. Peppa, what have you got in your lunchbox? asks Susie. A green apple, replies Peppa. I've got a red apple, says Susie. Let's eat them now, cheers Peppa. The children on the bus go chatter, 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 chatter. The children on the bus go chatter, 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 all day long. The bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. Mrs. Duck and her family are crossing the road ahead. Miss Rabbit stops the bus to let the ducks cross safely. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. At the top of a mountain, Peppa and her friends get off the bus to look at the view. Wow! Everyone gasps. They can see lots of other mountains. Then they sit down to eat the rest of the food in their lunch boxes. Mm, yummy! The children love the mountains and their picnic. Everybody has a great time. Home time! cries Madame Gazelle. Let's go! On the ride home, 
Everyone sings songs at the tops of their voices. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Quiz time! Pippa and her friends are going on a trip. A. At the beach. B. To the mountains. The correct answer is B. Hooray! To the mountains. The wheels on the bus go A. Round and round. B. Up and down. The correct answer is A. Round and round. Hooray! In the lunch box, Peppa has got A. A red apple. B. A green apple. Correct answer is A. Hooray! A green apple. The end. Digger World. Peppa and George are visiting Digger World. Welcome to Digger World, says Mr. Potato. Where all your digging dreams come true. George likes diggers, says Peppa. I like diggers too. Well, you'll both be driving real diggers today, says Mr. Potato. First, they go to the sand digger ride. Peppa and George jump on the diggers and move the levers while Mommy and Daddy pick pedal. Soon they have filled up a great big bucket with sand. Excellent work, children, says Mr. Potato. Let's go to the next ride. Wall building. Peppa uses a forklift truck to stack the soft building blocks into a high wall. George uses a big swinging ball to knock it down. George, shouts Peppa. Building things up, then knocking them down, it's all part of the fun with the diggers, Mr. Potato chuckles. You have earned your digger badges today. You are now fully qualified. Digger drivers. What an excellent day, says Mommy Pig as they drive home. Stop, shouts Mr. Bull. We are building a wall across the road. Mr. Bull, please, can you drive your digger? asks Peppa. I'm afraid children can drive diggers, says Mr. Bull. But we've been to Digger World, says Peppa. Okay then, says Mr. Bull. Hop aboard! I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the button, says Mr. Bull. This red one? asks Peppa. No, the green one, shouts Mr. Bull. But it's too late. Peppa has pushed the red button. Oh, my wall, cries Mr. Bull. Sorry, Mr. Bull, whispers Peppa. George giggles. Digger, digger! Don't worry, Peppa, says Mr. Bull. Building things up, then knocking them down, it's all part of the fun with diggers. The end. George's train ride. George is going on a long train journey with Daddy Pig to test some concrete. Peppa and Mommy Pig have come too. Choo-choo! cries George. He loves riding on the train. Full steam ahead, shouts Miss Rabbit, the train driver. Are we nearly there yet? asks Peppa. No, Peppa, says Daddy Pig laughing. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But where will we sleep? asks Peppa. Here, says Daddy Pig, pressing a button. Suddenly, four beds appear. Magic beds! gasps Peppa. Mommy Pig presses another button that opens a secret door. And a magic bathroom! gasps Peppa, peeking inside. Choo-choo! cries George. He loves the magic train. I wonder what this is for, says Daddy Pig, pressing another button. Daddy found the magic shower, says Peppa, giggling. Everyone puts on their pyjamas. Peppa and George hop into their beds. Choo-choo! cries George. He loves sleeping on the train. Peppa and George soon fall fast asleep. The train keeps moving while they are sleeping. Jinga jinga choo-choo! In the morning, Miss Rabbit serves breakfast. Aren't you meant to be driving the train, Miss Rabbit? asks Daddy Pig. It's fine, says Miss Rabbit. The train runs on the rails. It can get lost. Soon after breakfast, the train arrives at the station. A big crowd is waiting for Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig gets off the train and taps some concrete. Tuck, tuck. Very good, he says, and the crowd cheers. 
My work is done, says Daddy Pig. Let's take the train home. Goody, says Peppa. We can sleep on the train again. Choo-choo, cheers George. He loves the train. Everyone loves the choo-choo train. Choo-choo, the end.